Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. Yesterday, Cleophas Malala attended William Ruto's rally in Eldoret. And upon attending that rally yesterday, ANC party issued a press statement disowning Malala and stating it clearly that ne they never sent Malala to represent the party there. And ironically today, as, as Kenyans and leaders were busy castigating and condemning Linturi's remarks yesterday, Musalia Mudavadi has actually come out very boldly <laughs> to defend Cleophas Malala. So in this video, I want you to listen to Musalia Mudavadi defending Cleophas Malala, after which we are just going to have a discussion to see exactly what is Musalia Mudavadi really up to. Because this is a discussion we have really been having in this YouTube channel for some time now. But Musalia Mudavadi's political maneuvers seems to be baffling so many people. Listen to Mudavadi. Jumapili Mudavadi akionekana kumtetea Malala pamoja na kukubaliana na kauli yake. I will defend anybody who wishes to make their choice in accordance with the constitution to associate and talk to anybody. Uh, so I cannot hold anything against Senator uh, Malala. Nasemi za seneta wa kaunti ya Kakamega Cleophas Malala katika hafla ya Ruto Jumamosi zimeendelea kuibua mihemko hata zaidi. Your enemies are not necessarily our enemies. Your friends are not necessarily our friends. Nyinyi pangeni marafiki zenu sisi tupange marafiki zetu. Akizungumza baada ibada ya Jumapili katika kanisa la Redeemed Gospel Church Liberty Center hapa jijini Nairobi, Musali alisema kwamba uamuzi wa kama ataungana na Ruto kisiasa utaamuliwa na wajumbe wa chama chake chini ya majuma mawili. I would like to invite you to join us at the NDC because the ANC party will have made its decision uh, on how they want us to approach the 2022 uh, elections hata hivyo katibu mkuu wa chama cha NC Simon Gikuru alionekana kujitenga na hatua ya malala kuhudhuria mkutano wa chama cha UDM Jini Eldoret and if my party leader is not offended by my presence in Eldoret yesterday nobody else should be offended nobody else should mourn more than the bereaved we are in the political season of looking for friends doru za kuaminika zikiashiria kwamba Musalia yuko njiani kuelekea kwenye kambi ya Ruto. Yes. That's Musalia Mudavadi earlier today. And as Kenyans were very busy condemning Linturi's remarks yesterday, Musalia saw it fit to come out to defend Cleophas Malala. Yes. <laughs> yes. So in this video ladies and gentlemen, I just want us to have a discussion. I want us to see what is it that drives Musalia Mudavadi's political ideology? That's exactly what I want us to find out in this video. Yes. So if in case you've just bumped here for the very first time, subscribe, give this video a like. God bless you. God bless Kenya. In order to answer that, or rather to understand what drives Musalia Mudavadi's political ideology, there are two questions we must answer here. The first question, why is Musalia Mudavadi warming up to William Ruto at a time all political indicators are showing that William Ruto is really declining and declining very, very fast. William Ruto's popularity is on the nose dive and it's becoming quite apparent that by August, William Ruto might not win the presidency. Why is Musala Mudavadi warming up to William Ruto? That's the first question. The second question, why is Musala Mudavadi warming up to William Ruto while all the indicators in Western, in the Mulebe nation, where Musala Mudavadi comes from, all show that a majority of the Mulebe nation 
are seemingly supporting Raila Molo Odinga or are aligning themselves with Raila Molo Odinga? Those are the two questions I want us to answer in this video. And upon answering those two questions, we shall have actually known what, drive, what drives Musalia Mudawadi's political ideology. Yes. And I believe, ladies and gentlemen, that there are two answers to those two questions. The first answer that can answer the, both the two questions is that if you study Musalia Mudavadi's politics pretty well, Musalia Mudavadi seems to suffer what I've always referred in this YouTube channel as a last minute ditch mistake. What do I mean? Look at Musalia Mudavadi in 2002. In 2002, Mudawadi together with Raila and all that the likes of Kalonzo Mudawadi, or the likes of Kalonzo Musioka, they were initially in Kano, then they crossed over to the rainbow. And then all of a sudden from nowhere, Musalia Mudawadi went back to Kano. He ended up losing his Sabatia parliamentary seat. That's the last minute ditch, me, ditch mistake I'm trying to say. Musalia Mudawadi is not very good in making decision, decisions, or rather the right decisions at the right time, or rather at critical times. He seems to be making mistakes. <laughs> he seems to be making last minute ditch mistakes. That was the first <laughs> last minute ditch mistake he made. And it seems to appear that this last minute ditch mistake Musala keeps on making, it recurs after 10 years. He made it in 2002, and then he made it again in 2012. And then most likely in 2022, this year, is also going to make the same, same mistake. He made it in 2002. 2012, he was also with Raila. He dumped Raila at the, at the last minute. He joined Uhuruto. He, he later abandoned Uhuruto. He contested for the president. And he was given a humiliating defeat even in his own <laughs> western backyard, an indication that he, he might have made a mistake. Because if it was a right decision, the Mulebe nation could have voted for him in 2013. And then, in 2022, from the way he's behaving, most definitely, he's going to repeat the same, same mistake. This mistake recurs after every 10 years. So I tend to believe, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know whether it's fate or I don't know how to call it. There, is some, there are some powers holding Musalia Mudavadi hostage that after every 10 years, he must make a political last minute ditch mistake. That's exactly what is driving Musalia Mudavadi. Because, because it's very clear to even the little children now who know a little bit of politics that William Ruto's popularity is fast declining. And by August this year, William Ruto, most definitely, if things were to remain constant, will not become the president. So it seems to appear that these forces have really taken hostage of Musalia Mudavadi to a point he cannot see that. Yes. So one thing that drives Musalia Mudavadi's political brand is what we call he suffers this last minute ditch mistake. He's not, he can't just see the way things are actually happening. And then the second answer that can also answer both the two questions, it's also very clear that in Western, in the Mulembe nation, where Musaila Mudavadi comes from, a majority of his supporters, or rather a majority of the Mulembe people are currently supporting Raila Molo Odinga. In fact, they've been supporting Raila Molo Odinga since 2007. But nonetheless, Musalia Mudavadi ceased to go contrary to the wishes of a majority of the Mulembe nation. He went contrary to their wishes in, in 2002. They showed him dust in Sabatia. Same in 2012. And also in 2022. It's also somehow clear that Musalia going it alone or working with William Ruto, he will be going contrary to the wishes and opinions of a majority of the Mulembe nation. 
So it also seems to appear that Musalia Mudavadi, his political brand is not people-centered. Mm. He's not interested on what, the pe on what people are saying. He, he's not there to serve the people. But maybe he's chasing after some political illusions that Kenyans have not yet realized. So it seems to appear that Musalia's politics is not based on actually serving his people, the Muleme nation, but is out to chase some imaginary, some illusionary interest. That also comes out very, very clearly. And this only shows that Musalia Mudavadi is first suffering what we call last minute ditch mistake. That's the first thing driving Musalia's political agenda. Secondly, Musalia's politics is not based on serving his people, the Mulebe nation, but is chasing after some illu <laughs> imaginary or illusionary political glorifications or maybe interest. Those two things explain why Musala is currently behaving the way he's behaving. Because honestly, yeah, you cannot just convince somebody how Musala Mudavadi hmm, at this juncture can even think of joining William Ruto. Hmm? You know, in this YouTube channel, ladies and gentlemen, we do state facts as they are. Hmm. We analyze politics based on the current reality on the ground. As things stand today, Musalia Mudavad in Western will definitely lose to Raila Mulodinga, whether he contests or whether he supports William Ruto. On the national platform, it's also very clear that under the prevailing circumstances, assuming things remain constant, William Ruto will lose to Raila Amolo Odinga in August. All these things are actually the reality on the ground. Yes. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did indicate when we were starting, if you've just bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. If you are watching us outside Kenya for the very first time, drop a comment. Let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. And if possible, also subscribe, give this video a like. Our fans and subscribers here, I don't know how to thank you. I'm very much grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here by constantly giving our videos likes, constantly dropping your comment. God bless you. God bless Kenya. To any other person who is also a fan of ours here, but you have not yet subscribed, take this moment right now, tap on the subscription button and also on the notification bell to receive a notification anytime we upload a new video. And if possible, again, also give this video a like and also drop a comment. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana.